A first kill. Okay, it's Jivix walking straight into the bomb site, clearing a, fair, a few too many angles here. And that's allowed Salt to move up. Exploit, instead, instead of committing to that initial duel, they want to go for the retake instead because they know they've got ultimates. You should run. I was salty sports committing to that lockdown, you know, just to stop the retake from happening in the current moment. But shots being given off a team exploit, you know, they're holding very steadily with King getting the first kill on the stranger. And with this, they're probably going to go in raise using the ultimate as well. The defender killjoy comes out as well, Drake getting the kill, getting double a double kill onto King and Shooter. And with this, you know, the defense, the retake that team exploit are probably going to go for, not gonna be all that successful. One player is going to be detailed on me. Meanwhile, we'll be getting that remaining. double kill, but Salt Esports just clearing the rest of exploit up. I actually love that, Tultrus. The, the fact that they save Killjoy's ultimate because they realize they would need at least one lifeline in the next round, that's beautiful. They get onto the site, they make sure that exploit don't go for any early shenanigans, and because exploit don't read the fact that a Killjoy ultimate might be uh, up for grabs, they've relied too much on their own KJ ultimate. It simply doesn't work out for them. Waste of yes. a fair bit of time, and that's Especially going to be all that she lockdown, wrote. That lockdown getting destroyed. I mean, we talked about you know it, the rounds coming down to how they would use their ultimates, but it seemed like Team Exploit whiffed you know two of their ultimates and didn't seem to get much out of it. Absolutely. Now we do get a chance to see Salt and actually regards to the B bomb site because it's mostly barren. Ray's moving right in, Jivix, the point man to get some damage done, but instead he's going to be taken out. Big and Shooter tag teaming up, making life a lot harder for Salt Esports, but still the Sky and Astra alive, they can still do a fair bit of damage, but King, he's making it harder as the time goes on. Stranger, circling around the pillar, he's gonna have to hit some brutal shots if he needs to get it done. HSB makes it even harder, he is phased, he has no idea where these bullets are coming from. He's gonna have to deal with three, that is too, too many. And King securing it off with a triple kill. I mean, Salt Esports, they had the right idea. They went in. I mean, they were able to take control of the site. But time and time again, we're seeing Exploit do this. You know, they're allowing Salt Esports to take the site and then choosing to go for that retake situation. And this time around, actually, Team Exploit did it. They played it so well that Salt Esports were not even able to get the spike off. Tired out. And that really does bring uh, their, their play into question, right? Now, they've been funneled into a spot where they won't really have comfortable weaponry. They've all saved up to about 2,000 um, uh, 2, coins, dollars, whatever it is in this game. Honestly, I'll never know. <laughs> but, but yeah, these 2,000 points should be enough for the next round. I don't think this round is going to be too favorable with Shooter and Darky popping off a little bit. Yeah, this should be about it. Yeah, Salty Sports, I mean, they seemed they seemed like they didn't have a clear plan going into this one. I mean, Dark, Darky getting that first kill so early on into the rounds really seemed to break them because they they, they, they sort of crumbled in onto the mid position as well with, this, with the Rays getting that kill. And after that, I mean, Salty Sports now is just two players left with nowhere to go. I mean, they did try to go for a buy so they have committed a lot of economy into this round as well and it seems like it's a bit of a disaster for them because we're now going on you know we're not reaching the end of the first half five and four with this round probably going in favor of team exploit as well and with salt not having the economy to go forward from this one it seems like exploit are primed in position to actually win the majority of the left. rounds in the first half blocking vision I think Hats is still hoping, holding out a candle for the potential of maybe getting a kill in heaven. That's something that's not going to be allowed. Okay, Chivit. So maybe, uh... Oh, no. no, this is just a disaster. The Molotov, HP gun, everything is coming together. But yeah, you mentioned that they might not have the economy, but you have to keep in mind that they were very careful with how they tailored their wallets in the previous round. They bought down to 2,000, and with about 4,400 uh, points being there in total, they should be able to buy that Vandal, get armor, get a couple pieces of utility, so this round is not entirely out of the realm of possibility, neither is the next one, if they can make sure that this is a relatively conservative buy. Yeah, and I mean, but they're going to have to win this one. I mean, it all comes down to this. Salty Sports really can't 
lose this round or in if but if they're losing it you know they have to get some of these players from team exploit but it looks so difficult with sage's ultimate being up and exploit must realize this as well all they have to do is use the ultimate turn this into sort of a 6v5 position and sort of try to cripple salt esports now okay now they're banking on the possibility that they can just double wall up peek right over and now King knows this. He's relayed the information. Darky picks up Jivix. Beast has gotten, it, he's gotten an opportunity to get onto the bomb site. And with Darky being taken away, that is the Beast site under control of Saul. Now, whether or not they can capitalize on this, it's a question that still needs to be answered. You talked about how the ultimate was there, but exploit. They've lost the sage. It becomes a lot harder for them here on out. And I mean with Salt Esports taking the site in this fashion with the alarm oh, no. in a third place oh, God, like that, that. shooter, he should have gotten that kill. I mean he landed the shot on the head, but HSB does find a trade, but HSB finding another kill over there. Now it's a 1v2 with the sky falling so low, the sky can't heal himself so he's gonna stay at that hp and hsb is on to the side the spike is ticking he needs to be able to find these two kills but trick is running circles around him hsb is going to clean up the third kill but neither players have the time they are going to get out of the blast radius hsb finding those three kills but not having enough time for that diffuse it's crazy because j just that whiff from shooter was the defining the element there you can talk all about the ultimates, the retakes, the chaos, but no, Shooter was supposed to get that. What was it? That, that gave me goosebumps, that made my hair stand on end, that made me uncomfortable just watching it. Yeah, definitely. And I mean, we're talking about a guy that the entirety of Exploit <laughs> relies on to get those frags. We're talking about a guy, you know, who, who their opponents, you know, they're probably really scared that they don't want Shooter coming off for them because he will get you with a headshot. And, you know, just him not being able to do that certainly was yeah. the nail in the coffin for Exploit that round. Yeah, a bit uncomfortable, a bit, made me a bit queasy when I saw that, but... Regardless, I think Exploit have done enough of a decent job that when they get onto the attacking side, they might have a fair shot. But at the same time, you have to consider the dynamics of this map. Now, I know that 6-5 to five might, might seem pretty reasonable for either side of the roster, but with how difficult the attack can be yeah. and how easy it is to hold, uh, hold the lockdowns with Sage and with the likes of Killjoy, yeah. uh, I would be a bit worried for Exploit when they do eventually head onto the attacking side. That being said, the five rounds yeah. of Salt Esports are asterisked by the idea that the two of those rounds were based off of the pistol, based off of the bonus. And one was even based off of the ultimates. And I know these are all things that do go into a Valorant match, can't take any credit away from this. But my point is, you can't really look at just look at the number and justify it that way. Yeah, and I mean, you know, we were talking about it coming down to utilities, and I think this round will be much the same with the Killjoy and the Rays having the ultimate up on we're on Salt Esports side, and the Sage and the Rays having the ultimate up on Exploit side. And it is the last round, right? So you ideally should be looking to commit to those ultimates. Sage, perhaps putting himself in danger up so high on the elevator position is not the ideal way. You need to make sure that you have the revive because this is the last opportunity to use it. And I mean, it's a bit. It's a bit strange that, you know, Sage is top fragging. He would have gotten the revive, you know, twice or thrice this round, but he really has not used it at all in this first half. Yeah, it is a bit disappointing. And now as we head into the last round of the first map of the Grand Finals, Jivix is looking to get the party started. Already onto the A site, the Molotovs making it a little bit more difficult for them to get onto the site. But with Trick blocking off one of the main points of entry, it's already becoming a bit run. tricky for x It's the same story all over again, Tultris. It's, it's a lockdown, it's the attackers having full control, Salt not really allowing them too much opportunity, and with, and, and with Hats using his ultimate as well. Now, if you're exploit, you've got quite a bit of utility up in your face, and there's no chance that you back away from this. No saving, nothing. This is where you have to give it your all. Jivix and Stranger, they are mowing down the opposition. Dark is trying to blow an eyeball out. But at the end of the day, it leaves only one player to try to get back into it. Darky, the newest gun on the roster, has to try to get that 1v2, but his head is going to be created by nothing but having 
Yeah, I mean, Salt Esports, you know, they, it seemed guys. like they read Exploit perfectly, you know. Exploit, throughout the first half, they had this sort of strategy in which they would allow Salt Esports to actually come to them. They Should would, they would sort of bait in them reality? into this position where they were able to pick them off. And it seemed like Salt Esports turned it around uh, onto Team Exploit this time around, allowing them to come to them instead and just taking them all out. I mean, Exploit, they had three ultimates up, but by the time this, the fighting started, three of them were already dead. It's really just a matter of Salt getting this momentum going because you know what? Nobody can deny the fact that Exploits are the favorites here, right? But Definitely. I mean, they've been the favorites for a long time. Yeah, but you know what? It's a, it's a double-edged sword. You, you can walk into a match feeling super confident, but then, you're, but then even though Salt is feeling a fair bit of pressure as well, you can go like, okay, yeah. HSB is just scratching his head. He's like, you know what? I've, I might have spent a bit too much time trash talking on Twitter instead of practicing the game. Oh, man. Maybe a few more uh, hours being spent on the setups could have saved me from this, from what Salt is about to throw at me. But no, all jokes aside, I think Salt is putting up a stellar performance, and it's, I'm really happy to see that they're going head-to-head -head against Exploit in this fashion. And them being on the defender side now, it makes things even more difficult for Exploit. So where we were talking about Split potentially being picked Picked up by exploit to make it a little bit harder for salt maybe have have to throw a wrench in the works now you can see that salt maybe this pick actually works in their favor you know they've pulled it out before and if exploit will do if exploit will do them the favor of picking it up for them maybe they can capitalize yeah, definitely. And I mean, you know, just as how Exploit had the opportunity to see how Salt Esports did in this map, the, in the semi-finals, you know, Salt Esports had the same opportunity to learn from their mistakes when they lost against Clarity Esports. And now we're seeing them perform a bit differently. You know, last time around, Jivix, he had those 30 plus frags. He had so many kills. He was practically carrying his team at, uh, for most of it. But now we see him struggling a bit over here with seven kills and 11 deaths and hats being the one to get those frags. I mean, Jivix, if, if, uh, you know, if on, um, if he doesn't, if he's not the one getting those kills, then his team is really going to suffer for it going into this stage. Hmm. Now, what, what I'm trying to think here is, can Exploit replicate some of the successes that Salt put up? Because realistically speaking, I would say that so far, Salt has actually put up a better performance on this map than Exploit has. Because, okay, I'll be honest, you know what, Valorant is probably not uh, my favorite cup of tea because uh, I've, uh, I'm not too analytically sound on it. But from what I've gathered from pro players and whatnot, I think Split does favor a fair bit for the defender side. It's quite difficult to get space as attackers. And with that being a, a part of the equation, Here. I would start to think that maybe... Uh, Maybe Exploit are feeling a bit nervous now, you know? You've given up a few rounds. Next map, that's going to be Salt Spick. So, would Exploit actually be able to fight back if they lose this one? I'm not too and sure I mean, here. I certainly hope they will be. I mean, Exploit, you know, they're a veteran team and one loss is not going to actually bring them down. But like you mentioned, Salty Esports, they have picked the next map and Vine was the map, map that Clarity Esports picked for themselves. But Salty Esports completely dominated them up on that map. So Exploit, you know, they're, it's six and six. They're now on the attacking side. It's going to be a lot difficult for them because Breach offers just so much more value up on the defending side than he does on the attacking side. So definitely they're going to have have to pick up the pace they're going to have to turn it up a notch if they want to be able to take this one yeah but now we can see that timer taking down seven seconds until we're about to see one of the best second halves that we've ever seen in a grand final here in pakistan and it looks like a team exploit they're going to try what salt tried in the first pistol round they're actually going to commit fully on that A side. The Boombot is going to go and Shooter is going to go from it but the Gravity Well is going to hold him in place. The Flashes are going to come out. Stranger Trades are going off favoring Salt oh, Esports no. heavily and with only standing. two players Ooh. remaining but Darky was so low that he fell instantly as well and now it's just down to HSB but what can you do against four players with a spike down and you can't even see it. Yeah, I think that's quite a bit of a responsibility for the team captain of Exploit to take and unfortunately he's not able to bring anything to the table in that matter. Very easy cleanup from Salt, and that's sort of what I was talking about here, Taltrus. If Salt can get this kind of momentum, 
I'd be hard pressed to find a team that can stop them. I know it's exploit, you know, we've got the likes of King, we've got the likes of Shooter, and we've got the likes of HSB, but with the kind of team play Salt is showing us, with the kind of individual talent that's suddenly popping up, I think it's definitely uh, well within the realm of possibility that they take it. Yeah, with definitely. This pissed around, I mean... mm -hmm. No you know, you, you, you're talking about a Shooter and King and all of these guys and previously we have seen, seen teams struggle to find a response to them, you know, struggle to find a response to how Team Exploit plays around Shooter, but Salt are doing an incredible job at actually keeping King and Shooter at bay. It's, it's really surprising, uh, but I think we're gonna have to hold that thought because there's about to be a lot of chaos here on the beast side as exploits start to move in. There's only one player ready to watch and ready to hold down the onslaught. They've allowed three players to cross forward. This man could be overwhelmed very easily, but the sky flash makes it a lot more palatable. One for one trade, Stranger adding more to the tally, and as I say that, exploit has been completely mowed down. Darky just trying to feed his pistol some bullets as he gets taken away. And Salt getting that 8th round, and now they're a lot closer to the finish line. Yeah, 6 and 8, but, you know, it is going to be the first gun round coming out for Exploit. But, you know, up on this map, it's it's a very difficult execute. I mean, no matter how you look at it, the players that are going to go into the site will be getting traded off. It's going to be a very, it's going to be disaster if the defending side is not able to trade off the players that enter the site, right? In this case, if for Team Exploit, is usually going to be Shooter who's doing uh, the entering. And if he's not able to get those opening frags, then we're going to see Exploit crumble at the back of it. I mean, they've got a chance now. They can immediately turn things around. They've they've got weapons locked and loaded entirely. But this is a very important round here, Tulsa. Yeah, I mean, Team Exploit, they can't afford to lose this one. I mean, the lead is getting bigger and bigger, but it is they are facing against the bonus round, so they do have the advantage in those guns. But Shooter, he is a bit pinned in this cloud. I mean, they can try to push up mid, but the Killjoy, you know, the Astral Smoke is there as well. The Sage Wall is there as well. Trick is not moving from that position, and he actually has backup in the form of the Sky. And if... Team Exploit are not careful, then they might find themselves in a very hard place. I actually love this setup because they've gotten a fair bit of information courtesy of the dog. A bit of verticality that could have been played by the Sage as well. But look at this. This rotation from Exploit allows them to approach the bomb site that has fewer players. And although Sage can immediately rotate, it, uh, rotate on as well, they're not budging. So this is something that might not work out in the favor of Salt. Exploit, they want to move right in now. King first man in, that is a one for one trade, left. but that's still a fair bit of information for the team exploit to be taking away as they step onto the bomb site. Bomb starts to go down, and with only 20 seconds, they've done quite a bit of a job, but HSB is gonna have to stop Stranger, who he's allowed to cross over. Kobe quickly uses his ultimate to try to lock it down, but that is a massive step flip up by Stranger. He had to get that kill, but has to still keep them in contention. Astra walks right in, and with Hats getting that kill, it suddenly makes it all that much easier for Salt. Easy peasy defuse, and that lockdown is not going to be something of concern anyway. Yeah, and I mean, that was that was disastrous for Team Exploit. I mean, they were facing a bonus round. They were facing Spectres, you know. They had those guns. They fully committed to their economy. Not only that, they committed to that lockdown. The Killjoy lockdown is one of those ultimates that you use to secure yourselves around. And, you know, they put all of their chips in. But Team Exploit, they just seemed to not be able to stop Salt Esports from retaking the site. And with this, with a 6-9 score, with them probably, you know, losing this round as well, it's going to just going to be a four round lead that they'll be facing and I'm not sure how they're going to deal with the fact that Salt Esports are going to have some of their ultimates up. It's really just downhill from here unless Exploit can turn something up in the fray. Now slowly taking control of mid. They've got four players at the ready. One player being left into B lobby so that leaves them open to the potential of an A side push. Just being bombarded with utility. You shall not pass is the name of the game. Birdie hitting them in the eyes as well. Yeah, so at, at, at this point you're like, you know what, I think it's probably time to turn around, hit W, go back home. Just uh, too much utility to take care of.
Yeah, and I mean, exploit trying to take control of this elevator position, you know, when you're outgunned like this, I'm not sure if it's the right play because it's just so incredibly difficult to go for it unless, you know, Salt Eastwood does give you the control and it does seem like they're going to do that, but Beast is going to find the pick over there and exploit, they are actually going to move into the side, but they're cornered from all sides down over here. Stranger is going to get the kill on the king and with this shooter is going to get the first kill, but you know, they were all pinned in this location and now it's just down the shooter can he be able to get something here he will get the kill on the trick but he is going to get traded out instantly from chivix finishing it off you know with a triple kill it's a bit disappointing there because when exploit got onto the bomb site nearly unscathed i was expecting them to make it a bit more competitive even with the lacking weaponry but that's not the case at all it's salt there it seems like they're waltzing by exploit right now and I am salivating at the prospect of finally watching a team 2-0 exploit. Is, is, is that on the cards here, Tultris? I mean, Salty Sports, they're looking incredibly strong, you know. Team Exploit in the first, you know, the, after the second round they had, they had, it seemed like they were, their strategy was playing better than Salt Esports where they were where they were driving them in and finishing them off. But, you know, as we saw in the last round, Salt Esports, they allowed Exploit to actually take control of the elevator position, knowing that they did not have the economy. They allowed all of their players to jump down into the site, and that's exactly when they chose to go in. You know, one player from the defender spawn side, one player from the elevator, one player already had taken, we had already taken control of the garage there. And from there, it was just, you know, not team exploit could not do anything. Even with shooter finding those two kills, finding those three kills, it just seemed impossible, you know, considering the disadvantage they faced. Yeah, I'll be perfectly honest here, Tultris. Exploit, while they're a very strategically sound team, when Salt is able to turn up with regards to individual uh, fragging prowess, like Hats, Hats and Jivix being up there, you know, 17 and 12, uh, that's just insane. Especially for Hats, I mean, he's got 17 kills and 7 deaths. So the point I'm trying to make here is if you've got the players of Salt turning up individually in the same fashion that you would expect Team Exploits player to be bringing up to the tally, now you suddenly start to expose the, the lack of st strategic depth in Exploit's gameplay because a lot of their gameplay revolves around just enabling shooter, enabling their individual players to get those frags. And when that's not happening, when you finally see a team that has enough fragging potential in their roster as well, and they're here to party, I don't know, man. I think Exploit are going to struggle, but you know what? Soulmate, he doesn't want to leave it just yet. He doesn't want to give it up. He's gotten the first frag, and things might just start to get a bit harder for Salty from here on out. Yeah, but you know, exploit. They have control of the elevator position. They have control of the site, B site, with only two players guarding the elevator position. But Salt Esports, they are going for that flank. One player in the attacker spawn site. He will be spotted out, and Soulmate will be able to find the kill. But there's one more player coming. But as I say that, exploit did not wait for it. They went all in, and they were able to clean everyone up. And now, just Beast surviving. Spike yeah, that's uh, probably going to be a consolation prize, if anything. Okay, HSB, perfectly timed, he gets the frag. And that's that only leaves three rounds in between the two teams. And I feel like the players can actually hear me here, Taltris, because I talked about the potential of Exploit getting 2 and would by an underdog team, and I don't think they were too happy about it. Yeah, I mean, Team Exploit, I don't, I wouldn't be happy if I were in their place as well. They've, they fought very hard to keep that number one position. And now with the Killjoy uh, lockdown available, with the Sage ultimate and the Raze ultimate, this looks like it, they might be coming back into the game and they are going to go for a full execute onto the A side. Beast has already given up his position as the prime defender of the A site. The share of shots being missed. Darky already knows how to get onto the bomb site, and Beast, his hands are shuddering as he holds onto the sheriff for dear life. Doesn't really survive for too long. That should be the eco round being given up and exploit. They're, they're not going to have too hard of a time, at Spike least planted. coming back into contention for this game. Yeah, and with this. With this eco, you know, if Exploit are able to actually take out all of Salt Esports, I mean, obviously Salt Esports probably trying to get some frags out, but you know, there are three players trying to go against a turret, and that is a very difficult turret to take out, especially if you do have guns. But Trick being able to find HSB here does, you know, if they're able to get one or two more kills, then that might actually turn out good for them. But 
they tried and soulmate and king did put a stop to it now this is where we get both teams locked and loaded it's not ever asterisk here by a pistol round or a bonus round or too many ultimates on either side you know they're pretty evenly matched in fact they've got the exact same amount of ultimates if anything so uh when we see a round that is so evenly matched i'm super excited to see how this one's gonna roll out yeah, but now 8 and 10, you know, going in favor of Salt Esports, the lead that they had four rounds, but now just down to two. And with all of these ultimates up, you know, it can be anyone's game. Salt Esports did actually have the better play win in the first round where they used those ultimates, but now they are actually going to go all in team exploit. They have managed to make it on towards the side, but they really need to be careful yeah, because okay. they are pinned on, on the low ground. Jibix is going to go no. in, but not really finding anything, but he well, doesn't need to because remain. Salt Esports are cleaning exploit up with only HSB surviving and he is pushed to the back of the site with the spike right smack in the middle of it and it, I don't think there's anything he can do over here he's he's really pinned has no utility is nowhere near the spike yeah, he will be able pot. to get a kill on the stranger but not sure I, what he can do yeah I think HSB still has a chance here I mean the captain of team exploit let's see what tricks he's got up his sleeve doesn't really have too much utility but he's got a shot considering the fact that he's already made it into a one versus two I want to see how they play this defensively. Now, they're, they're both in the same spot, so they get a chance to look at HG together. But that's not even going to be required, because Beast will quickly be tapping him on the head with his Phantom. And Team Exploit, I mean, they fell for the same trick that, you know, Salt Esports fell for. And time and time again, we're seeing this. We're seeing this position in which they try to enter a site, just, just try to brute force their way into a site. And it just doesn't work out for them simply because of the fact that they're out positioned in this way with three players looking down at them from the heaven, one player looking at them from the defender spawn site. I mean, all Beast really needed to do was use, was, you know, openly spray from inside the smoke and he would have dealt a lot of damage and that's what we saw him do with five players over there if you're shooting from inside the smoke your your bullets are bound to hit someone hmm man salt are close enough to the finish line right now and with enough confidence and all the uh all the bells and whistles that you need to make it through a grand finals to the point where i'm getting very worried for exploit and i know it's been sort of the narrative you know I think everybody would want to see Salt perform ab above their expected level because they want to see Exploit shudder in their boots. But at the same time, now you start to wonder, where is that insane gameplay from Exploit? You've, you've grown accustomed to HSP popping off, you know how crazy some of the individual fragging potential can be, and we don't get to see that, it's a bit disappointing. So I need to see the Exploit boys turn up. And I mean, this might be the round where they try and do that, you know, with five of their ultimates up. They tried, they, they weren't able to make their ultimates count a lot in the first half, but maybe they will try to turn this around in the second half. A shooter diving right in, but getting taken down instantly no. by Jivix and the rest of the team exploit just getting cleaned up. What? <laughs> what was that? Jivix just catches a bird out of the sky and it's just a complete mow down from here on out. There's just one member remaining. It's soulmate. What can you what do can there? You do? Right, exactly. That's the question. <laughs> what can you do with the spike? If the spike dropped over here with four of Salt Esports, you know, the most she can do is commit to that lockdown. But, you know, that's not what you want to do. You want to keep that lockdown up to secure around and not, not just so that you can get a spike. But the problem is that the way they lost this round they this puts salt esports on match point and that means that exploit are most definitely going to be in a position where they have to get those rounds with their lockdown with okay. their ultimate uh, soulmate he is only trying three kills but hats does manage to find the kill looked a bit dangerous for salt esports there but you know did it manage to find it did manage to get themselves up to the match point yeah, Solman's actually doing a pretty stellar job of trying to keep his team uh, uh, within contention. He's on 22 right now, he's way past hats as well, but his teammates aren't really able to uh, turn up to the party right now. We do get to look at his perspective very quickly. That was nasty. I think just a few more bullets or a couple more seconds being given to him, he could have narrowed it down to that 1v1. Regardless, you can see that Saul, they're playing a bit like we would expect Exploit to. Early mid-aggression, hitting their shots, knowing exactly when to use their utility, suffocating the enemy team in a fashion that they're simply not 
not very familiar with. Yeah, and Team Exploit, I mean, it look, they look like they're very frustrated with how the spike, you know, is so out of their reach every time the trades end up. So this time around, they have kept it very, very far back. But Salt Esports, they're trying to play aggressive over here. But meanwhile, Exploit is doing much of the same thing up on this middle position, having almost secured themselves the elevator area. But Stranger, he is going to try and stop them, but he is going to get forced you back with the Sage Slow as well. Exploit's last chance to stay in this game. I mean, they've got another map to go, but things are downhill unless Exploit can show us something. You are divided. HSB using his ultimate early on. That allows them a, a chance to get onto the B bomb site. Hats has gotten one. King immediately responds, and that's quite a few last kills going the way standing. of Exploit, especially with the revive being part of the contest as well. Beast, nice shot from him, but he eventually gets put down. Yeah, and both teams actually committing a lot of ultimates there. I mean, Salt Esports, you know, they didn't need to commit any of their ultimates. They could have let Exploit have this round because they committed so many of their ultimates. The Astro Divide coming out, the Revive coming out, Breach using the ultimate, Killjoy's locked down. So all Salt really needed to do was let them have this round and then utilize their own ultimates to actually secure the next one because they were up on match point. If you're Salt, you want to stop this overtime. You don't want it to get to the point where you're suddenly the one struggling to put a round together. Okay. The next point might be telegraphing their positions early, but it doesn't really matter too much. Shooter and King, easy peasy walk onto the A-bomb site. And they are facing an eco, so Exploit are going to be more than happy with this, taking this round in a very clean fashion. And Salt Esports, you know, they're going to try it again. They're going to try to take some guns off uh, off of Team Exploit again. But whether or not they'll be successful, they are going to come on the shooter. Stranger is going to find himself in a very difficult place, having to leave his fallen teammate behind. But actually turning it around on the shooter and getting that classic. But HSP is going to come back and he is going to clean it up for his team with a triple kill. Now Exploit, they've got a chance. They've gotten a fit through the door. They just need to get back into the contest of things. And I mean, Salt Esports, you know, we were, we were talking about this. They don't have the lockdown available. And, you know, if they did, they, they would have been in such a good position to actually take this round off of Team Exploit and actually take the first game off of them. But the fact that they don't have that lockdown has allowed Team Exploit to reach this position where they're only now two rounds away from going into overtime. And I think Exploit, they're looking very ready and prepared for this because the way they're executing, you know, in some of these yeah. rounds, in some of the last rounds that you've seen, is, is very different. It seems very streamlined, you know. It seems like Salt Esports there, when they're allowing Team Exploit to actually go in and take control of the site, Exploit actually now has a really good response to it. Hmm. Now, keep, keep in mind, this is Exploit's map pick, so they're expected to perform a lot better here. And Salt, they've shown us enough signs of promise to the point where we can really start to believe. At the same time, Exploit's suddenly waking up, suddenly turning up, uh, turning up to the party. I want to see how this unfolds. 10 seconds for the freeze time. They're all lined up towards A, so that does sort of give us an idea of how things are going to carry out. Salt, they've only left Killjoy in the form of Beast. To try to hold down the wire all alone. This is going to be tough. This is going to be really tough, especially if Team Exploit are not careful, but they're actually choosing to go for that full execute onto the A site. Okay, Beast, he knows his lineups. He's gotten a kill onto Soulmate, and that's already one of the Exploit players being taken away from the battle. Now I want to see how these Exploit players can uh, try to defend. And finally goes down. They've got a fair bit of utility as well that they can work with. Sky Flash allows Stranger to move on forward. Jivix immediately responding back with a nade. Shooter pops his ultimate. That's Stranger away as well. Shooter, yet another kill in the bag. Two versus three. Things are getting very chaotic, but exploit. They've gotten the bull by the horns where Salt started to get comfortable. That comfort has been taken away. The pillow has been slid out from under their heads. And King will make it even more disastrous. Just a complete shutdown by exploit to potentially take Salt to overtime. 
Yeah, and I mean, Salt Esports, they, they sort of whiffed it over there by with Trick choosing to go in aggressively rather than choosing to go in for that revive. I mean, trade had already gone off at that point, and it was a 3v3 situation. And if Sage had used the revive, you know, he, the, Sage had the cover of the smoke should he wanted to have gone for that revive, and that would have turned it into a 4v3 situation. That would have actually put Salt Esports in a very good position to take that round, especially since they knew that they had the information of where all of the players of team exploit were actually hiding and the fact that trick went down i mean that that sealed the deal for salt esports over there and exploit were just able to capitalize so much on that and now they're just one point away from match point and salt esports they don't have those game securing ultimates anymore with the sage having one but you know he really needs to find the space to have it and with him playing so aggressive on this b site i'm not sure if he's going to have it this round either it's really just a matter of Salt trying to capitalize on the advantages that they previously had, but I think Exploit did a pretty good job of cleaning things up. You know, initially, they looked a bit sloppy. We talked about how the individuals weren't showing up, but with Shooter and Soulmate suddenly joining the battle in a fashion that we didn't expect, then keep in mind, HSB was at the bottom of the scoreboard a few rounds ago. He was on 8 kills. Now he's on 18. That's a stellar improvement, and he, the captain might have finally showed up to the battle in a way that will protect them from getting uh, getting demolished by Salt in their own map pick. They're still around to go, but I've got faith now. Yeah, especially since Salt Esports, they don't have that full buy. Three Spectres, one Bulldog, and the only Vandal that they have comes with Light Armor. So Salt just looks like Exploit's perfect chance to get back into this game and take it to overtime. I really wanted to see Salt do something unorthodox, and you can see that they also had kind of the same idea because they uh, they opted to go for early aggression. Look at that! Oh no, that is oh, nearly the sage being caught. Trick will immediately back off, uses his uh, utility as well, just to try to waste as much time as possible. But right now, Exploit really haven't shown their cars. They've shown a bit of presence towards the B bomb site. They had mid control. And because there hasn't been a push from A, since there's only one Killjoy on the A site, they don't really have too much info to go on. Oh no, this is this is troublesome because Jivix has already gotten the kill. And even though HSB used a very key piece of his utility to get onto the site. Not quite enough to get the equal numbers. Okay, he's always gotten the job done, gets triple peak, and that makes it so much more difficult. Exploit, they're on the cusp of losing it out. HSB is desperately trying to get kills in left left and right. Hats has been put down. And with the bomb being planted, 12 to 11, it's either overtime or next map. Let's see how this plays out. The bomb slowly taking down Sage while expires. This is where the chaos starts to happen. Salt, they are so close to the exploit squad. That's a good flashbang, and that allows Darkin Shooter to completely mow their opponents down. Jivix, though, he's gotten two. It's a 1v1, and HSP picks up the last one. It's overtime on map number one, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I mean, Team Exploit, they really, really uh, got themselves pushed into a corner there where it looked like Salt Esports might have been able to secure that round when the Sage's ultimate went off. But that gravity well, holding all of Salt Esports in place that allowed Team Exploit to actually Checking clean the them all up, leaving Jivix all Checking alone. He did manage to get two kills at the back of it, but then found himself in a hard place when his hands had a nade and HSB had a gun and HSB was able to clean up, clean him up very easily. But now, you know, it's overtime. Both teams have to play one round each over on the defending side and attacking side. And we might actually see a couple of these overtimes come out before the winner of the first map is decided. It's really difficult for Salt here because they nearly had it carved out, right? They had all the conditions. They got the initial kill, they had the revive, they were at that 5 versus 3 point, I believe. They had everything, they even had the bomb down. But with just a few correct decisions by Shooter and Darky, they made it that much harder. Jivix nearly had the shot. But now yeah, all perhaps. is said and done. 
Perhaps if he didn't have that need, perhaps if he just trusted in his instinct to get those skills, he, he might have been able to get HSB out as well, and Salt would have been able to secure the first map. But, you know, it is overtime. All of those things are in the past, and with this, Salt Esports are going to make their way into the A side. They are going to gain control of it, but the spike, you know, is has still not made its way in there. They're waiting for Jivix to actually clear all of these angles out, but that has actually allowed Exploit to get into this right position, you know, with two players coming in. Defenders side. One player in the heaven to go and two players over the back of the site. But Hats does find HSB, does find the captain there. Love how HSB even pointed it out that there was a player in the cubby and he still wasn't able to get the frag. 4v4 now, heading straight onto the site. One for one trade once again. It seems like all of these duels are so close, but Team Exploit, they're coming out on top. Last Might have missed, the shooter is still there to fight. One I'm for one, it's all about who gets that shot first. The flash is making it a lot harder. This duel is uncomfortable, but in the midst of all the chaos, Darky emerges. Yeah, and I mean, <laughs> what an absolute mess that duel was with, with the Seekers having it to be used because both of the guns, they had to be reloaded. And Switching I mean, Darky just being able to Mad find that point. kill. It seemed like Salt Esports were really going to get that one up until the last moment with Darky clutching it out. You mentioned that... Uh... Oh, never mind. I, my, my brain completely forgot that it wouldn't matter that he used the Seekers because, well, it's overtime and whatnot. Just I think he ignored that thought process completely. It just fell off my train for a second. But Team Exploit, you know, they were four rounds down and now they're actually leading this overtime up on the attacking position. It's 13-12. They only need one more round. Salt Esports ah, seem ah. to be crumbling under uh, the pressure, you know, for... Uh, well, Diddy, you said earlier that Salt Esports would love nothing more than to actually take Team Exploit in a 2-0, but Team Exploit, they have managed to find their footing now, and it seems like they're consistently able to beat Salt Esports in terms of strategy, in terms of how they take a site, in terms of how they retake a site. It seems like they're doing overall, you know, a much better job than Salt Esports consistently since the second half. I agree with you on most fronts there, Talha, but the difference that I would probably say is, uh, or well, the, the the point of argument that I would bring up is that I don't actually think that Exploit have more strategic depth. Instead, they're allowing Salt to get the site and they're trusting in their fragging potential to easily be able to clean up Salt. And this has happened time and time again. Even the round that brought this to overtime, it wasn't because Exploit had more strategic depth. No, it was just Shooter and Darky turning up. It was just kills going their way. Even when Salt can get onto a site, even when they have the lockdowns, even when it seems like they've got it all mapped and pinned, they've, they're dotting their I's and they're crossing their T's. At the end of the day, it's simply sh the likes of Shooter, Darky, and HSB to win out aim duels and bring them right back into it. Only one yeah. round stands in between either team, and well, it's either o it's either another overtime or it's uh, a match victory for exploit. And with Salt Esports, you know, like you pointed out, they have to find a way to take out Shooter, I mean, with with Team Exploit giving Shooter so much space, so much fragment potential, so much support, it just seems very difficult for Salt Esports to actually do that. But they have been able to do that in the past in this map, and perhaps they're, can, they're able to do it this time around as well. I mean, it's their only shot. It's, it's They're one round away from Team Exploit taking this first game. Salt must be sweating right now. I know they're on the defenders, so at least they've got the comfort of letting Exploit do their thing. HSB is going to take a fair bit of damage down to 20 armor and 85 HP from the turret. That is a turret gone though, but that's a lot of information going on towards the Salt Esports side. Exploit, they are trying to go into the side shooter, getting the first kill onto Hatch, but he is going to get traded out by Stranger. But King is going to finish him off as well, but now it's going right to there. be a 3v4 retake situation. If you're Salt, you def you know that you don't have the same kind of retake potential that Exploit do. And HSB, he's looked away at the wrong time, eventually gets shot in the back by Beast. At least the numbers are equal and we've got a chance at overtime. Soulmate is probably going to have to be the one man to hold it down when it eventually comes down to it. But Darky, expected to be the first point of contact as Killjoy and Sage start to move in from the Salt Esports side. They're taking a fair bit of time and clearing out these angles for a shot miss. Trick has an standing. opening here. Double overtime nearly guaranteed, but can King close it out? They don't quite know his position. He's hit the first shot. He's trying to revive a teammate for distraction, but it doesn't work out in the end. 
easy defuse and salt they brought it to yet another overcome yeah, and I mean that was that was very unfortunate for Team Exploit Switching the way side. it just be looked Over away time. at just the right time for Salt Esports to capitalize on it, allowing them the heaven control, allowing them this position where they were able to go in for that retake. I mean HSB was the barrier that Salt Esports were facing for that retake, and them being able to take him out in the fashion that they did was a bit unlucky for team exploit but now we are going to see a second overtime but salt esports you know they, they know their objective they know what they have to do and that is to disable shooters somehow they might have just granted themselves a lifeline i mean it still came down to the very last wire at least we can see that exploit have the, the kind of individual prowess that is required even in dire times to Clutch position out. Okay. It's getting a bit dicey there. King. Or rather B as he's been taken away from the squad already. That's the A side heaven being under control of Saul, but that's already a fair bit of damage being given up by exploit. Three players down. One more added to the tally. Just Sky and says left and then I'm not sure how exploit are making this one run. enemy remaining. Yeah, and I mean, you know, the, the, for the past few rounds, it's been coming to these 1v1 positions, these 2v1 positions, you know, coming down to the spike being diffused. And this round just seems so incredibly different for Salt Esports. I mean, Stranger is going to try, he has rotated, but, you know, Team Exploit, they realize that the Stranger actually, he has brought himself back into the game. I mean, 30 seconds on 30 the clock but he left. has the advantage i mean he can be anywhere for all exploit knows i mean experts should really look towards the rotating themselves up to securing both sides and try to time stranger out Tarts with just out. 20 seconds on the clock he's going to come on to soulmate but soulmate is going to find the jump on him exploit once again Switching leading sides. in charge in, point. in command And I mean, this 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 looks dangerous for Salt Esports. I mean, the way they lost the last round. I mean, Stranger getting those three kills was certainly impressive. But you know, him having to be in that position facing that one v five was a situation that you know should never have happened in the first place but salt esports they simply can't allow for this to happen again they need to get those jewels off and they really really do need to disable shooter salt once again hanging from a wire hanging from a thread and this is a spider that refuses to fall trick has already gotten the kill on Darky. It's one fewer member from for, for Exploit to rely on, and Darky can often be that one fragging force that carries Exploit forward. On to Heaven. Peace is going to be the first point of contact as the flashes start rolling in. First player picked up, quickly switches over. Can't quite find King, but Hats is there to clean up the job. Now HSB has the B site under lock and key, and he's also going to be joined by a teammate. So with only two players, they have to hold it down 2v3, and maybe this could go to Spike a triple OT. Yeah, but, you know, with the information going towards Salt Esports with the Wolf over there, and this looks like Salt Esports round for the taking. Jivix is going to go in. Soulmate does find that kill, but actually Jivix gets taken down as well, and now it's just down to Stranger, but he's he's surrounded. I mean, Team Expert, they don't know exactly where he is, but with that flash, they are going to find out his location. He is going to come on to Soulmate, but Soulmate does have the backup of the HSB. HSB is going to try and come out, but Stranger is going going to find the clutch we are so going smart. to a third overtime that was actually such a great oh, micro play from stranger to send out the birdie towards the right that flash was played perfectly it fooled the enemy team long enough that he Switching can get sides. he can overtime. isolate two of these duels and salt they're still in contention that yeah, was nearly but... guaranteed to be the round for BYB exploit as soon as those two kills Astro turned up you know i was ready Astro to call it i was ready to hit the big red button GG, not quite WP because there's still a, a second map to go, but right now, just Salt are back in it. Yeah, but it seems it seems to me, you know, the rounds that Salt are winning, it, it, it comes down to the very last second, it comes down to the very last man, but, you know, the rounds in which we see Team Exploit winning is in this form of uh, full aggression where they're able to actually force Salt Esports into this 1v5 position, which is very strange to me. I mean, 
the fact that Team Expert are able to do that but struggle so hard when the overtime round, so when the swap happens, is is very strange and I can't seem to put a finger on it. It's honestly the expected outcome that you would think of if teams are nearly exactly evenly matched. You know, this is the second overtime. Uh, well, this is actually the triple overtime, right? <laughs> this is the third yeah, overtime. Yeah, this and is this the, the third second overtime. time. It's actually the second time in this tournament that we've actually gone to a third overtime. I mean, I think the yeah. overtime has only happened thrice so far, with this being the last of them. But now, man, I, I actually do believe in Salt Esports and their potential to actually take this one. I mean, they are going to try it again. They are trying going for an execute on the A with two players positioning themselves on towards the mid position and towards the B side. Perhaps they're expecting Team Exploit to go for a flank this time around. But both teams, I mean, they're they're playing the holding game. But Team Ex Team Salt Esports, should they choose to go for that A side, they are going to come across a lot of Killjoy utility. There's no way to get into the side without any information and no way to go in without those trades. And already we see that happening with the game now being forced into this 4v4 position. Satchel out. You know, you talk about it being a 4v4, and do we really expect anything less here, Taltris? <laughs> it's, it's, it, it seems like every time is just a one-for-one one trade, it comes down to the last wire, bomb planted. I, I, it, it's as if I could nearly write out a script for this game. But you know, uh, it, it, you know, both of the agents taken out were a bit different. So Team Exploit hmm. did no longer have their healer and Salt Esports, you know, they they actually still have the sky up. So perhaps they should go for a bit of a, you know, seconds left. A bit of an exchange of fire, deal some damage, go back, heal, and then try again. Yeah, but as I say thought. that, it's only 20 seconds. Yeah, it's going to become very chaotic, but with the Molotov doing a fair bit of damage, Stranger and Jivix, one added to each one's bag. And maybe this is the first time Salt actually get ahead on overtime because they're down to 4v2, they've gotten the bomb planted and that's a fair bit of control to have. A little bit of desperation is going to go a long way here because HSB and Darky, they want to step onto the bomb site now. The dog will sniff them out. And this flash is going to be brutal as soon as Stranger chucks it. Hat's not giving up his position. They want to make sure that these peaks are perfect. They want to peek all together. Information on HSB and a bullet in the head of Dark. That's all she wrote. And Salt, they will inch on forward. And now Switching for the first side. time, like you Match mentioned point. for us, Salt Esports, they're actually ahead in this overtime, in this third overtime, in fact. And exploit. I mean, they really, you know, they really have to get this round. I mean, obviously they do, they want to stay in this first map, but Salt Esports, you know, we saw them struggle in the second round, we saw them struggle in the first few overtimes, but again, they've managed to turn it around and they, they, they do it every time in this convincing fashion, right? They do it every time, every time they win around this, it's like everything works so well for them and they just need to keep this momentum going. Any bets on whether or not Salt is going to take this <laughs> in this overtime? I mean, I don't know. I, I, I <laughs> am running out of ideas for both of these teams. They've tried everything so far, but, you know, just not being able to close it out. You know, Salt how, Esports getting so close. You know how in the last few rounds of a boxing match, both, uh, both of the contestants are getting really tired and they're just wildly swinging out punches. You're just hoping that you can get win on points somehow. That's probably what it feels like, but has he's quickly added two. And Shooter, although he got that entry, Frag is not going to account for much. Blocking off an important entry point, a trick is going to be on the receiving end for two of these players. Soulmate has to be the first point of contact as they move on to the B side. Exploit, you can see that bullets are flying, <laughs> bullets of sweat are flying left and right out of their collars. Because they know that one mistake will allow Salt to move on to their own map. Take it 1-0 and for so far. They're looking to reroute. Get everybody left. together. All chips on the same line. Oh no, Trick. His mouse has slipped up. It's an even Steven matchup as they head on to the B bomb site. It's going to be very tricky for Salt to stop it here. 
Yeah, and I mean, with the Killjoy still up, you know, those utilities are going to be up for uh, in the retail, in the post spike phase. And Salt Esports, they're really going to have to find a way inside. I mean, their other position already getting figured out by Exploit on the elevator. They know that someone is there. They're probably certain that someone is in a defending spawn site. And they are going to go in with the flash right now. Yeah, it's all about the aim duels. Dark, he picks up one. Okay, Stranger, he makes it possible. Remaining. You know that he's been winning out a lot of aim duels. Last but they don't quite standing. know where the Killjoy is soulmate. He waits to hold down the trigger and eventually picks up both. I'm not sure why Stranger tries to stick out there. Yeah, and I mean, he should have gotten that information Switching there. Fast. But even, Overtime. you know, with, with, the, with the one side smoked off and I mean hats going down should have given that information away and I'm not sure why he stuck to that diffuse there the because blue. it seemed like Astral salt blue. esports were going to take that one I mean <laughs> we talked about any bets uh, probably not the best of ideas yeah you can see that uh I think Stranger was sort of capitalizing on the idea that Soulmate would second guess himself, but at the same time, it's such an easy peek for Soulmate to go for that it's really not a reasonable request to make. Now, Salt heading straight onto the A site, they want to do things a lot quicker than we've grown accustomed to, and that does allow them to get a fair bit of space. So, all five players alive, either side of the team, is going to be a retake from Exploit. But the spike is so isolated, I mean, the spike can't make its way across, the sky can't get across, I mean, they do have the sight, but they, without any way to actually get the spike across, I'm not sure how Salt Esports are going to get this one. I think they were banking on Jivix getting the initial kill, and that would allow them to easily move in, but with x quickly gobbling up the side of Salt Esports, a little bit of faith is starting to escape me. Just got two but, members, they've got hats, they've got... This is probably not the way I'd approach ropes. Thirty seconds. I like how hats is just trying to keep them engaged while Beast is doing the heavy lifting. But this has also allowed Exploit to reposition and Hats will get desperate to try to find either of them. Now not knowing that there's three players here, that is exactly what's going to cost them. Exploit, once again, you give them an inch and they'll take a mile. Yeah, Switching them sides. finding, them f isolating the spike like that, I mean, it looked like Salt Esports were going to get a free entry into the site with Jivix going in head on, but them not having the spike, I mean, that, that was such a crucial mistake and Exploit were able to capitalize on, capitalize on it so well. I mean, it wasn't the trades that cost Salt Esports that round. It was simply the fact that they could not get their spike into the site fast enough. I mean, generally, sure, you keep the spike in a safe position. You keep it behind you, but that's not the way you want to run it. Bot coming back. Yeah, I think the general idea was to get Jimmy to open up the site first, but didn't really work out too well in their favor. And even now, it's going to be a very hard and fast push from the exploit boss. Great soulmate back on the bomb. Both teams getting very sloppy, but finally Team Exploit is going to pull forward. I think this is where their journey ends here. Taltris, because it's there's only two members remaining. They've got the Sage, they've got the potential of a heal. But you Stranger, he's still you trying to put them in contention. And, and as soon as Soulmate lands in the grave, he will immediately walk... Uh, he will jump right out like the Undertaker. And it's very tough for Salt to get anything done here. Man, this is a disaster. This is remaining. chaotic. This is Trick looking desperate, and this is Trick. Falling. Yes, he does. Attacker Soulmate win. gets the last bullet in, and man, that was a very spicy game, Toltress. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how it got to that point, and you can see that. I've taken my jacket off, and the reason for that is that was a very hot game. That's gotten me sweating, and I'm sure the players on either rosters are sweating as well. Yeah, I mean, Salty Sports were so close there. We're so close to taking the game. We're so close to taking that first map, which was picked up by Team Exploit. And, you know, in terms of execution style, I mean, I'm sure you'll agree with me over here. It's not that they didn't, that they played worse than Team Exploit. It seemed as if they were able to do what Team Exploit does best. And it's, and then some of those rounds, they were able to do it better. But Jim, just, Crumbling in those last rounds over there in the second, the in the third overtime where Jivix went in front, the spike wasn't there for their team, and in the round after that, they just seemed like their confidence started to fade in the later stages.
When both teams are so evenly matched, it really did feel like at the end of the day, it became a bit of an endurance style thing, right? And we get to look at the scoreboards now. I know that we didn't catch it too much within the game. We can see that Soulmate's incredible performance for exploit, it's probably what kept them in the game long enough for him to bring it back. I know that his skills slowed down there at the end, but that also allowed them to, to eventually turn uh, the eventually allow the rest of the team exploit squad to turn up. You can see that HSB at one point he was bottom fragging, now he's on 25 kills, a very respectable scoreline to have. Uh, even Darky there at the end, even though he's only got 17 kills in five overtimes, it's okay because he's gotten the job done. If you look at the other side of the spectrum, you can see that um, you can see that Hats and Stranger they've really slowed down there at the end. Hats with I believe close to 20 kills around that uh, around that first uh, overtime mark. He really wasn't able to add too much to the tally, and a lot of the impact was late for Exploit. But it was soon enough that Salt wasn't able to carry it on forward and uh, went out their own map. Yeah, and I mean, you know, we, we talk about the, some of the impact that these players have had. And I mean, over on Shooter's side, he has seven first bloods. Those are seven rounds in which he's been able to secure the opening frag. And time and time again, we see this as the reason the team expert are able to se secure those rounds so successfully in such a brutal fashion is that Shooter simply goes unpunished. And I mean, Salt Esports, they did do a fair, fairly good job at holding Shooter down. I mean, in some of those rounds, we saw Jivix really punishing his aggression over there but Salt Esports just not managing to punish Shooter just not managing to stop Exploit in their aggression really cost them the game this time around with you know Jivik struggling over here with 21 kills and 29 deaths I mean the last time this guy played the map he had more than 30 kills and more than the 400 average combat score and we see him plateauing right now perhaps you know he's he's definitely going to need to turn up the pressure he's going to need to turn up the pace in the second map Absolutely, man. There's there's a lot more that we ex expect from Salt. I know they've put up a really incredible performance. I mean, to bring Exploit down to their knees like that, but they had to close it out. You know, we wanted to see that. We wanted to see Exploit suffer a little bit so that we can see an even more spicy matchup in the next one. But you know what? I feel like we've... I feel like we got it there at the end of the day, right? I mean, we get to see, what was it? Four or five overtime? They really stopped keeping track after 15. <laughs> but... Realistically speaking, uh, Salt, they had a really good performance and it became an endurance match at the end about which team breaks down first. And uh, I think it was the more experienced team with regards to just gaming in general. I think uh, they've got a lot more veterans on their side with, uh, as far as exploit is concerned. So in that endurance matchup, they end up winning out and Salt, they're going to have to take the first L home, uh, but they still do have a chance. So I want to see how they perform in the next match. Yeah, I mean, it is their pick. It, they have chosen the map of Vine, so I'm assuming they have some sort of strategy considering the fact that they've played against Exploit so much. They probably know what Exploit is going to do for the second map. They probably do also know their strategy. They know the Shooter is going to dive in head first. They know that their team Exploit is going to give Shooter a lot of support. So it's going to be a question of, you know, Team Salt in their home ground and how they choose to actually disable Shooter, disable Team Exploit from what they do best and actually take the game if, if they want to be if they want to have a chance to actually win the grand finals yeah we do get a chance to see the head-to-head -head here and honestly i was kind of hoping we would get to see just the first bloods up against each other because that is probably uh the big point of difference but regardless if you look at soulmate if you look at hats it's really surprising that hats is able to top frag in the fashion that he did i mean he was playing astra that's probably one of the worst uh, probably one of the worst agents to have in terms of I individual fragging and if he's able to do that get a kd of 1.4 he did the heavy lifting for his team he put up a lot he put up the numbers but it simply wasn't enough to carry them to the finish line they were consistently within inches of it consistently within one footstep of it yeah, definitely. And I mean, you would certainly love to see a duelist up over in this head to head. And I mean, over even on Team Exploit side, you know, Killjoy, yeah. Killjoy having all of these skills, 33 kills and three first bloods with a 1.5 KDA. The Killjoy utility, you know, it only stays alive for as long as the Killjoy is alive. So this was a bit of a risky maneuver over on Team Exploit side because should they have lost that Killjoy early on, should have should Soulmate not have performed the way that they did, they wouldn't have the Killjoy. 
skills or utility. They wouldn't have a lot of the holding potential that they did. But the fact that it worked out so well for them suggests to me that Soulmate is actually, you know, he's he's on a streak right now. But you know, it's something that would it is something that won't work for the next map around because up on bind you need the killjoy to stay alive. You need the you need the sight of B to be held perfectly together and you would need the killjoy to, to you know play a more laid back role in, on the second map. Yeah, but I do want to uh, put a little asterisk there, Taldrus, because uh, I know we're talking about how it was a bit of a risky maneuver for, for Killjoy be t uh, to be the one that had so much responsibility, but at the, same, at the same time, I look at the other side of the spectrum and I think, okay, they were getting carried by their Astra. So it's not like it was only Exploit that had a lifeline in the for form of Soulmate. It was also Hats being that supportive foundation for Salt to even get to that point. So when all is said and done, Exploit, they come out on top. They do it in a pretty sloppy fashion. It is, it is a comeback at the end of the day. But I think they've proven that for now that they are the top dogs. Not for too long though, because we do have another map coming right up, don't we? Yeah, now before the second map though, we're going to come to you in a bit with that. But before that, you know, we're going to come for our community outreach, you know, the, some of the Ooh. things that Calyx is doing for the community with the best plays being shown. You know, this is from some of the guys in the community who were who came out, put up their posts on their Facebook. And these were some of the clips that were shown. All right. Yeah, we get a chance to see it now. OK, so the first clip was there. I don't want to see this. Ooh, I would I would not have hit that in a million years. Oh, that, that that was spicy, wasn't it, Talters? That was very spicy. I mean the <laughs> fact that he's able to get these skills and actually he he ends up getting an ace there, I believe. But you know this this next one was pretty good as well. The fact that this the fact that Scarlet was able to get all of these kills, especially that one kill with the 150 meters, is an absolute beast on this ghost. Hmm. His pace slows down a little bit, <laughs> there courtesy of the door. But man, I, I, I really like the uh, the chat on the side. They're just praising him right now. <laughs> hey, um, I'm really happy we get to see the chat there on the bottom left as well. Yeah, and I mean, perhaps this, perhaps the chat, in fact, gave Scarlet the confidence <laughs> to actually put up hmm. the play over here. You know, it's certainly a good amount of skill being shown with him pick getting that ace with only and only a ghost. Oh, watch this though. I mean, I know who this guy is, so I'm expecting it to be very... Oh my god, that is nasty! They don't even get a chance to react! Okay, that is... I'm not gonna lie, that, that, that was pretty solid. But this very next one from Faizus, Faiz US, Faiz Us, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it, but at least he knows how to mow down his opponents. Oh, that was a nice flick. Yeah, nice little one tap. Icing on the cake, if anything. I'm curious how he's gonna get the last skill on the Sage. Seems to be taking a sweet time. Oh! You see, I look at these clips and I get a bit insecure because I don't think I would have hit any of those shots. <laughs> I mean, perhaps you might have hit the one with the Ray's uh, ultimate with the rocket. I mean, that's yeah. a difficult one to miss. <laughs> I mean, knowing my luck, are we too sure? Would you bet on it? Probably I not. would. I mean, for, you were you were a very competitive player back in the CS scene, so I would have no doubt that you would have hit that shot. I'm, I mean, I'm just trying to throw that past under the rug so I can berate myself for views. So you know what? I'm just gonna pretend I'm the good old I'm a good old Gold Nova, just somewhere in the bronze rankings on Valorant. Yeah, but you know that that was, those were some of the clips that were shown previously. We had the aces up, and then we had the flicks up, and then we had the one taps up, and now. We did show you guys some of the best plays and we are going to show you which clip actually won, which clip is going to get those Valorant gift cards. But for us, what do you what do you think is going to happen in the next map? Hmm. Um, we, we don't really get to see the uh, we don't get to see the winner just yet. So you guys are going to have to stick around for that. You're going to have to bear me. You're going to have to enjoy some of these uh, wonderful matches that are about to come right up. But you know what, Paltris, before we head into a break, before we uh, ro roll the curtains for a little bit, uh, 
I, I am gonna say, Salt, they've shown a lot of signs of promise, and since it's their next map pick, I wouldn't be surprised if it goes to a third mapper, but that should be it for now. We're gonna be back in just a little bit as we head into a break before map number two.
best in Pakistan? Come, let's see. Odin and he's going to spam his Odin in onto the Haven and there's a difference. We just witnessed some nutty plays from Salt, some even nuttier plays from Exploit to get the comeback in. But we're on for map number two now. Welcome back to Calyx. It was a very short break, but I'm, I'm so glad about that, Taltris, because we get to jump straight into the action and we're about to head to map number two. So how are we feeling about this one? I mean, I'm personally very excited to see how Salt Esports, you know, how they respond to it. They are playing on their home ground. So I definitely hope that they've, you know, brushed the first map off. You know, it, it, the defeats happen all the time and, you know, they are playing against Team Expert. They, they must have put into account, you know, that it might go to a game three and perhaps their strategy strategy would be to actually secure the map that they're very comfortable in on and perhaps they're looking to do just that. Yeah, if, if anybody watched the previous game, initially, if you tuned in, you would probably go like, yeah, this is seeming a bit like Salt's own pick. And if that happens, um, <laughs> it, it would have probably been a, a lot easier for Salt to go into it mentally. But with the game being dropped, with the comeback being secured by Exploit, with uh, the rug being uh, swung out from under, uh, swung out from under, uh, from under Salt's feet, you can see that Salt are going to sweat a little bit. You know, you're getting nervous, you're heading to your own map pick, sure, and you've done a good job on Exploit's map pick, but it's also a map that Exploit themselves aren't too comfortable on. So, like we said, maybe there were a bit of mind games going into that into that split pick for uh, for Exploit. Maybe they just wanted to, to sort of flex on Salt as they were heading into it. But now, all things said and done, they're 1-0, the overtime has been secured, and we're going to be watching by now, which is Salt's own map pick. Yeah, definitely. I mean, Team Exploit, they can't underestimate Salt. You know, they, they did win, but they won with the Ooh, third or fourth overtime. They didn't, they didn't win in a satisfying fashion. They, they're used to winning, you know, they're used to, Team Exploit, they're always used to winning, stomping some of these teams. Even when they face Salt Esports, they seem to win in this convincing fashion. And I don't think that they have come this close to defeat like in a way like this in a very long time. And if I were Team Exploit, I'd personally be, you know, I, I would wouldn't let the first win get to me. I would personally be a bit apprehensive about what Salt Esports have up their sleeves. Yeah, when you've allowed Salt, who are arguably the underdogs, to get that close on map number one, that close on your own map pick, you say, hold on, how did that end up happening, right? You can't feel too comfortable. You're, you're absolutely correct in that presumption, Tultris, because if you're in the shoes of exploit right now, you're worried, you're sweating, and you know that although it's a 1-0, it'll only take one map to turn everything around. Salt, I think they've got an even better chance now considering that it's their own map pick. So we're going to have to watch out for them. Yeah, and I mean, Jivix, you know, we were talking about him. We were talking about some of the plays that this, this lad has made throughout the whole tournament. We saw him struggle a bit in the previous map, but hopefully this time around they can turn it up. And we have seen instances where Salt plays the way that Exploit does. We have seen instances in yeah. which they actually end up doing it a lot better. So perhaps this time around, you know, Salt can look towards supporting Jivix in a way that enables him to do what Shooter does. So one of the win conditions for Exploit has consistently just been allowing Shooter to go ham. And it's something that happened in the previous map as well. You know, Shooter turned up, uh, who was the other player that turned up? Yes, it was Soulmate. How could I ever forget that? I mean, they're doing it on Killjoy out of all things. Uh, so when you got win conditions that are relying on individual prowess, it becomes a bit tricky to sustainably have that. But if anything, Exploit have consistently shown us that individual fragging potential is sustainable, especially when it comes to the Pakistani scene for them. Now, whether or not they'd be able to do that consistently against higher caliber of opponents, I'm not too sure about that just yet. But right now, their reliance on Shooter, their reliance on Soulmate, their reliance on HSB turning up, seems to be working out. And I don't see any reason why that wouldn't happen in map number two, save for the fact that maybe we see more strategic depth come out from Salt on map number two. 
Yeah, and I mean, I think I have a feeling it's going to come down to the executions and Salt Esports, you know, they seem, they seem to really struggle with the aggression that Exploit are put out, you know, when when they're able to get a side, they really have a lot of trouble going into those retakes. So I believe the Salt Esports should maximize on their holding ability, you know, it, for, on a map like Bind, if you let, if you go in for a retake onto Bind, it's incredibly difficult if the team is allowed to position themselves to cover all of those angles because it is a very difficult site to go into. So Salt Esports, they should really be looking to protect that Killjoy, you know, to protect Jivix, let him get those frags off. And if they aren't able to do that, then they might just end up losing the next one as well. And Exploit definitely want to want to have that, right? They're sort of building a legacy of 2 and O's, if anything. Uh, Exploit with how, how dominant they've been. They want to keep adding 2 and O's to the tally, you know, just to brush Salt aside um, very easily. Of course, I don't think Salt is going to allow that. Realistically speaking, Tultris, after the kind of performance I saw come out from Salt in that in that first map, I'm willing to give them a lot more credit than I initially thought. You know, when I got into this game, I was sort of building up a narrative of how uh, of how they're uh, legitimately just massive underdogs, but I don't think that anymore. They've swayed me. They've changed my opinion entirely. And I mean, this is this is a trend that we're actually we've actually seen in this tournament, you know, in the Intercity Cup. I mean, some of these teams, you know, even Team Clarity Esports taking a game off of Salt. A lot of these teams that have come up in this tournament have been able to play in a way that we haven't really seen them play before, you know. Uh, save for Team Arrow, who ha who did struggle quite a bit going into this tournament, but a lot of them have come so far. And it seems like, you know, teams are finally catching up to, uh, you know, what Team Exploit does and uh, their strategies on how they play some of these maps. And I think Salt Esports are, you know, really, really close to figuring it out. They're really close to figuring out how to actually beat the number one team in Pakistan. And we get a chance to look at the agent selection screen. We get to see how they want to pivot around their lineup. So Jivix, he's still going to be sticking to that raise. It makes a lot of sense. And for Beast to pick up Viper here, that's once again a very logical move. You know, Viper is one of those agents that is heavily impactful when it comes to buying, you know, just the ability for her walls to take easy control. Uh, and it really is centered around how you can get the bomb down, right? So both teams are going to prioritize it. Now, the difference that we are going to see is within their duelist. So we don't see a sky on the defender side, so no healing. We don't see a sage either. Choose once your again, agent. a lack of healing. And with how Salt Esports are positioned right now with, with their agent select screen, they're going to have two healers. But that also means that they're going to have a significantly more, uh, a significantly heavier reliance on making sure that they can win out their aim duels on the basis of their teammates being enabled. I know that Astro allows them to have a lot of control with, um, with their smokes, with their ultimate and whatnot. But simply having Breach, simply having Sova on the side of Exploit, it gives them way more opportunities for information. So if you look at the narrative right now, or the win conditions, it's Exploit who can play off of info, but it's Salt that has to win off of aim duels, which is a bit of a, an opposite, right? Normally you'd expect Exploit to be the <laughs> ones that are relying on duels. Yeah, definitely. I mean, like you pointed out, it is, it is quite strange. But, you know, we were talking about this. Perhaps Salt Esports are gearing up to enable Jivix to get those jewels off. You know, they now have two healers. They're, they have the Wiper, they have the Astro. They're in prime position to actually allow Jivix to get those jewels off. But whether Exploit are going to let them do that is a question, you know, that's, that we're going to get the answer to soon. But the lack of information on Salt Esports' side is definitely, you know, it's, it's a bit alarming. Ten seconds on the clock, we're about to head into the second map of the Grand Finals. And I couldn't be more excited, Tultris, because we get to see, potentially, Salt Esports flex their muscles once more. And already we do see the recon bolt going out, but it's not going to find anyone. And this is a bit of a sneaky maneuver because Salt Esports, they are priming themselves to move on to that B position just outside the hookup but Shooter he is ready to go in but you know this is different because Shooter does not have the support of his teammates right now but perhaps exploit they're creating this position where they want to pin Salt down and take them out. 
Okay, let's see how this works out. Oh no, shooters, he's already given up his position. It takes a bit of a shot as he tries to retreat. Shouldn't really matter too much so now the Viper wall being deployed. Salt. Want to eventually, uh... Now, look at the positioning of the Viper Wall, right? Because they've deployed it on A, and they're actually positioning towards B. They're trying to throw out a fake. It's not something that Exploit is entirely faked by, because you can see that they still have three players positioned, but it's still food for thought. Yeah, now with the Viper Wall going down, they are going to go into the side. The Viper is leading the fray, but HSB left. is prepping his stun. And I mean, I think they're gearing up for a 5v5 retake position. Spike planted. Yeah, this is going to be super chaotic here, Tultris, as the utility expires. Salt, they've gotten the bomb down, and exploit as the defenders. Right they've there. got the responsibility of getting it down under lock and key. HSP flash locked and loaded. They know exactly where Jivix is because they've spotted the barrel. Headshot next. That's two kills already. Stranger and Trick, they try to retaliate, but all of their efforts are in vain because they're only able to get two. One man remaining in the form of Astra. It's Hats. He wants to try to recuperate some of their losses. Viper Wall goes away. Darky, nice little foot. That's the first round for Explore. Yeah, and I mean, you know, Salt Esports sort of boxed themselves inside the site, but, you know, they tried to cover off all the angles with Jivix over there in that awkward position, you know, they weren't able to provide him with a cover with Shooter just coming in and getting a free kill onto Jivix. There wasn't much that he could do, and that's not the position where you want him to be at because you did have two of those healers up, so perhaps, you know, they should have stationed him at the back of the site where he's able to get, you know, those shots off and you can and simultaneously you know you're going to be able to heal him up as well but salt esports choosing the positioning that they did they did never didn't really work out well for them yeah and if you're salt you're on your own map pick now some of the advantages of winning the pistol the bonus and whatnot may have gone your way on map number one but when that's being taken away from you it's getting a bit troublesome okay king nearly gets caught down with his uh call with his pants now Spike down, B. Just spraying away wildly. Making it look pretty easy as they mow them down. Our gardening services at the ready. Yeah, and with hats and sky the only ones remaining with the classic and ghost i mean ideally you know in any eco round the goal should put is obviously One get some remaining. of these frags out get as many guns out as you can if the opponents have force but they will get one hats will be able to pick one off but just not gonna find anything over another kill over here so now we're going to go into the next round in what is probably going to be a 2-0 Now, Taltris, one thing I really don't want to see is exploit get away with a comfortable victory. And I know that people are going to be whining like, oh, why are you being so biased? Why do you want ex why, why, why don't you want exploit? But listen, man. What good would it be if exploit don't struggle a little bit, right? You don't want to see that one-sided. Why would you tune in if that's what you're expecting, right? Yeah, I mean, they need to they need to earn their victory. I mean, they've earned it all this time. But, you know, if you want to, if you want to stay in the number one position, you're really going to have to fight for it. Being on top of the mountain, or, or the proverbial mountain, defending your title, defending your throne, comes with the cost of everybody being at your back. It's not just taking down one team at a time, it is everybody trying to hound you down. And Shooter's but going I to kick one of the hounds away as I speak. It's a 5 versus 4, Salt. I want to see what kind of positioning they go for, so... Now, slowly heading onto the beast site. That's some information being fished out by the dog. Bomb, though, making its way to A instead. Stranger, though, finding himself in a very awkward position because they're really, you know, down one person already. They should really be committing onto one site together. But as I say that, HSB is going to find hats as well, but Beast Horses does finding, manage to find that trade, but I think it's already too late standing. for them with this 2v4 position. <laughs> Another trade is going to go off, but with a 1v3, it's all, it's, it's, I feel like it's over already. I hope that's not the case for the game, because right now, Exploit, they look super dominant. If this is happening on Salt's map pick, I'm worried.
I don't want this to go this way. I need there to be a bit of a back and forth. And Salt, now they're going to be down to pistols. You know, just a sheriff. A few sheriffs, and I mean, maybe. Team Exploit, I mean, they play this... You know, they're playing... It like they did the first time around up on split when when they were able to get those comfortable leads where they just allow salt east force to come to them and then they just rely on their frag potential to take them out and time and time again we're seeing it we're seeing shooter get the first kill we're seeing them enter the site even getting the plant off but just not being smash. able to find anything after that when exploit goes in for that retake and already you know we see it again with shooter finding that first kill so early on into the round It's just a bread and butter strategy of exploits play. They put on a lot of pressure early on. They've got a fair bit of aggression. And you hardly ever see a team that can actually fight back against it. Oh, beast. Gets shot in the back, but at least Stranger is there to take the front. Or take the responsibility of cleaning Spike things up. A. Shooter. Just adding a few more kills to the tally. You know, you've got to pad your stats for the end of the end of the game. Look good for the fans. Yeah, and even this round, I mean, Salty is forced falling for it again. I mean, they do see a Viper wall and they see the Viper cloud and they think that they can try to go in to this position. But as soon as Team Exploit goes in for them, they realize Salty is forced that in fact, they're in a very awkward position and that there's actually no way out. So even when they do find a trades over there, they're just simply outgunned in the position that they are in. Okay, now we get a chance to see them locked and loaded. They've got weapons and they want to move right in. Beast. He's actually being devoured by the ultimate of the opposing Viper. And that's already a fair bit of damage being done by Exploit. They are not giving Salt an inch. They find themselves being suffocated by the smoke clouds left and right. Darky, he shot them in the dark. And if you're Salt right now, you're trying to sniff out a single player, but you can't find anything. They're getting shot left and right. Soulmate turns up and with Darky having three kills, what can Soul even do there? They've left all five players alive with only one bullet of damage on the opposing Viper. Yeah, and I mean, you know, sticking to that position, sticking to that play, despite the fact that, you know, the Viper ultimate was committed, you, one of your players went down immediately and choosing to go all in despite of that fact, was was very questionable uh, on the part of Salt Esports. And, you know, up on the scoreboard, we're really seeing them struggle. I mean, not one of them being able to actually get many kills, with Jivix not having secured a single kill this game. Oh, but... Trick, you know, the yeah. shooter does manage to go down this round, but it's a bit unfortunate. The salt esports are on an eco. I mean, should this have been a gun round, they might have had a chance to take it with the fall of shooter. But HSB, he is going to pick that operator up and he is going to deal a heavy, a hefty amount of damage onto salt mm -hmm. esports. But now only three players remaining. Jevix does have the marshal, but I'm not sure if they can do anything with the gravity well zoning them out. Still holding out a candle for the potential of Beast this maybe getting an entry down. frag to get things going. They're slowly huddling up together. They've got their pistol out. Shooter peeks into them. Oh, oh my god. Hey. Regardless, Last player oh, down. Not too much confidence. Ooh, Taltris, look at the scoreboard at 6 and 0. Oh, nothing for Salt to show just yet. Do you think Salt yeah. might have tapped themselves out in the, in the very, very fatiguing map number one? I mean, it's certainly possible they're, they're struggling quite a bit. I mean, I think this is the fourth or fifth round where we've seen Salt Esports go down at the exact same location. And I mean, them not having, you know, a plan B, them not having a plan C is, is very, very problematic. They do have their ultimates now. So hopefully, you know, with the Viper ultimate, it is a round securing ultimate. Hopefully they can m make use of that. They do have the guns. The Sage ultimate is up. This is the best opportunity they will get to actually turn this map around. That's sort of how they started things off in the previous map as well, right? Where they relied on the ultimates to get things going. And there's another recurring pattern. It's aggression from Salt that actually works out this time around. So. Heading on to the A site, it should be too hard for them to get things going. Soulmate. Oh, he spilled the trigger there. Uh, I'm not actually sure he would be. No, no, that's not going to be long. Never mind. 
Soulmate eventually falls in trying to salvage some pieces and Shooter walking right in with the ultimate on his jet. He is mowing them down left and right, making One it look so remains. easy as he's brought them down to nothing. Yeah, and I mean, Salt Esports, you know, Team Exploit, none of their players actually went down apart from the pickoffs the Salt Esports were able to get. So the fact that they went down like that, I mean, that was highly surprising. I mean, sure, Exploit, you know, Shooter committed to those knives, but Shooter went in to what was, you know, to what were three people who could have shot at him. And the fact that they tried and were not able to get him was very very interesting because salt esports they had everything going for them that round that time around and they still did not manage to get the win yeah you know you've got the ultimate you get the entry frag with all of these win conditions being lined up for you if the round doesn't come to light it becomes very scary and already with jivix going down in this map sorry in this round I'm not sure if Salty is going to be able to make anything happen in this one either with Shooter having that operator. I mean, this this guy on this operator, the whole tournament, you know, he's he's never let us down with those operator shots. You know, he misses one, but he's always able to get the other. It's been a bit of a recurring theme that Shooter, once he's enabled, there's no chance that the enemy team can have unless they have a suitable player on their roster as well that can have similar fragging potential. So, uh, I do think that a Trick is able to do that. I do think that uh, Jivix is equipped for that. And with how Hats was playing in the previous round, I wouldn't be surprised if he was able to come up on that level as well. But, so far in map 2, we don't see any signs of it just yet. And while a Valorant game ends at 13, before Assault can even get a single round, we already see Exploit lining up 8. And honestly, with the, with the pace they've gone by with, it's, it's as if we're just watching the bonus round so far. Not a single round has been competitive enough or gotten down to the wire in a fashion where we would expect Salt to have a decent shot. Yeah, and I mean, you know, we were talking about the lack of information over on Salt Esports' side, which seems to be hurting them quite a bit. But one of the strengths that we were talking about were the fact that Salt Esports actually have two healers up, you know, so they were in prime position to allow Jivix to actually get some of those skills. Because as you mentioned, he is just as good as Shooter, just as good as King in his ability to get those frags, but he really seems to be struggling. And despite the fact that his team has all the healing in the world, all the smokes, all the utilities you know the sky the wiper it gives you so much potential but jevix is simply not able to capitalize on it just yet oh man if you're jevix you're definitely in some very uh uncertain waters not quite sure where i was going with that but I mean, it is it is the finals <laughs> of this tournament. I mean, this it's 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 now or never. You know, if you don't perform now, you're going to be going home in second place. You know, your dreams were which are to take out Team Exploit. You know that that's that's what everyone wants. That's what every single team competes for. It's the number one spot. And now that you're finally here, you're you're you know not just Jivix, but the entirety of Salt Esports actually just crumbling in this way with Hats having one <clears> kill trick having two kills i mean i think darky has more kills than the entire roster of salt esports right now hmm when you put it that way <laughs> i mean actually both darky shooter and soulmate individually have more kills yeah than soulmate is matched with them okay i'll give them that much but yeah that's a that's a bit much to digest you want to fight it like our shooter allows a dog to pass through so he does, he can still have a shot off Okay, he's got a decent opportunity because he's tucked in and he gets taken away very early on. Three kills go the way of exploit and as soon as I start talking, it seems like the chaos has caught up to me. Yeah, and I mean, that was around Assault Esports, really, you know, they, they had the correct play. Shooter missed the first Operator shot, they used the utility to zone him back away, and then they tried to go in for that. We saw Jivix go in, but, you know, still even having a judge you know, uh, on yourself and having so many smokes, having so many utilities being thrown by your team from the back lines to help you out and still not being able to find anything. We saw Jivix going down first and Shooter, you know, you miss the first operator shot, you're forced to get back, but then he still manages to get 
a double kill with the operator. Back to the sheriffs, back to the drawing board. Very little ink left in their markers. They've got a four round leeway, and that is also asterisk by the fact that they're on a on an eco round already. Soulmate. He's relayed the information to his squad that the eco push That's might be coming through down. Hookah. Yeah, but the Hookah, I mean, it's a very dangerous place off. to push with those sheriffs. I mean, you can get straight down. Shooter is there with the operator. You know, you can throw all the utilities you want inside the Hookah because it is essentially a very, very close space. So definitely not where you want to be. And Salt Esports are going to realize this and they are going to move away. Just too much firepower over on the B side for them to go for it. So they are going to try their luck on towards this side. Turkey. Darky, no, Darky. <laughs> First point to receive. He's just been taken out of the tally. It, it seems time and one time again, it's just a matter of holding Go down off. mouse one. See, for Darky, once again, four kills. He's really starting to feel himself in this match. You know, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't exactly the best case scenario for him in the previous one, but now he's sort of redeeming himself for his past mistakes. 17 kills, four deaths, leading the charge, large and in charge. 17 kills and four deaths. I mean, team exploit. They certainly, they certainly know how to pick their players. You know, taking Darky away from Team Arrow, getting them onto their own roster, certainly has helped out because this isn't the first time. You know, even in the semi-finals, he this this person performed, we and we're seeing him perform Pulling right now it. for Team Exploit as well. Even managing to get more kills than Shooter. Me. He's quickly got a fair bit of information on showers as well. And because he can use a stun and a right flashbang there. to push them back, that makes it a bit harder for them to coordinate their push. So now you've got the rotations coming in. That's going to be very tough for Saul to break free of this of this curse. You know, they're still sitting on zero that hmm. And I mean allowing shooter to rotate on towards the site is not where you want to be. Because he, if you let him get a peek off on you with the operator, he will take you down. And I think Salt Esports were trying to create a bit of a distraction, you know, get the operator over on this side so that they can go towards the B side. But as I say that, Wiper has positioned himself very aggressively onto the A long position. And I mean, Salt Esports, they really need to clear that position out. It really comes down to whether or not they can actually isolate uh, Soulmate when they do left. eventually get onto the bomb site. He's popped his ultimate. He knows that he needs to do something with it, but he prematurely fires it. And that doesn't allow them to make very good use of it. King and Soulmate, they are tag teaming. Down yep. B. Holding hands as they shut down the entirety of the Yeah, and I mean, them just not covering those angles. I mean, there's a reason Last that Team Exploit lets you switch. enter the site. I mean, they're not doing it because they, they, they you know, that they have, they're, they're, they're to force them to get back. They're doing it because they want to let you in and they box you every single time. And I mean, we called it out over on the a long position that Salty Sports, you know, when they go for the site, they really do need to clean that, clear that angle up. And the fact that they didn't do that, you know, King, he's bottom fragging. You know, he's 6-2. He had three kills before that round, and just from that A-long position, he was able to secure the round for his team, simply because Salt Esports got a bit lazy over there. Yeah, Salt, they're trying to throw a fake out, leave the Viper wall towards the A-bomb site, and instead, hit B. One in hookah. Oh, man, it's just so many. That's all they need to defend. And before they can even get a foot through the door, that door has been shut, it's been locked down. The key has been swallowed, akin to how you would see Tom and Perry do it. One oh, okay, maybe they've still got a chance here. Ah, I say that. I say that, but then Soulmate gets another kill. Yeah, I mean, Soulmate should, Soulmate should have went down over there because he did have a Seeker on him. I mean, he was stunned and the fact that he was still able to get that third kill was absolutely insane. But now it's just down to hats, but what does he do? against this utility of the breach you know in this elbow position with his location being known the way it is with the spike so far away it doesn't seem like he can do much i mean the flat the stun is going to go out gonna miss him but okay, now he has not last player standing hey could this be the first round for them oh no hsp he's denied it 
just the BM of popping off the ulti there at the end as well. A completely clean half from exploit, and I believe they've done it once in this tournament before as well, right? I, against Solaris, yeah. Yeah, it was against Solaris. And they're proving to us that they're the top dogs of the Pakistani scene. Because if you're in the finals, you came back on your own map pick. Okay, that got a bit sloppy, but that's alright. Because if you can immediately come back on your opponent's map pick and sweep them up in a 12-0 fashion, I don't know what, to, what I have to tell you here, Tultras, but these are the signs of a team that is playing way below their caliber right now. Yeah, and I mean that's that's how you're you know that's how you stay the best. You know the the, the entire condition was the salt needs to pick themselves up from the defeat of the first map, and Team Exploit really need to you know estimate their opponents correctly. And we see Exploit doing that, but Salt massively missing what they needed to work on. Yeah, the pistols they are basically jittering, shuddering in their hands. They're holding on to them for dear life. They know that one mistake is going to be their downfall and it would be over. Soulmate, he finds two within the midst of the Astra Smoke. And that only leaves two players on the Saw side. They're on the Spike brink planted. of eating a 13 and 0. And HSB is ready to feed them that. Last man, Jivix. He knows he's not really gotten anything done. He is looking around. He's hoping for a sign, but... I think we all know how this story ends. I think the chapter's been written, the book's been closed, it's been burned, it's been never to be recovered. It's just Jivix looking desperate to maybe pad his stats a little bit before he allows his game to crumble out of his hands. Just has to bear the brunt of utility and it will finally be it for him. 13 and 0. Tultris, I cannot stress it enough. That was way too powerful of a performance from Exploit. That game ended faster than probably the first half of the previous game we just saw. I mean, that game ended, you know, faster than the overtimes that we saw. <laughs> I mean, that was that was absolutely insane. I mean, we've seen Exploit do this before, but it, that was against Solaris. That was against a new team. Uh, you know, I mean, the fact that they're able to do this to, to arguably the second best team out there in Pakistan tells me that, you know, Team Exploit is very comfortably sitting in that number one position and they're not going to move from there for a while. Yeah, man, that is... You look at the scoreboard and you can see that all together, okay, I want to go for a little count here. Okay, they've got 15 kills total. Jivix didn't even contribute to the party there. So both Soulmate and Darky, they, they've got equal or more kills than the entirety of the Salt roster. It's as much of a beatdown as it could possibly be. I know I was consistently rooting for the underdogs, you know? I wanted Salt Esports to make exploits struggle, but at the same time, I think I might have underestimated how comfortably Exploit are sitting on their throne. They are the kings of Pakistani Valorant right now, and this match cements it even further. Yeah, and I mean, you know, as you pointed out, Jivix having zero kills, Trick having two, I don't think, I don't think this, this is probably one of the worst matches of this young man's career because he's just so used to doing incredibly well. He's used to performing, he's used to winning and the fact that they crumble like this is highly, highly alarming. But, you know, it, they were facing Team Exploit in what seems to be their prime. You know, Team Exploit just, you know, giving us this very casual reminder, you know, that they can't be underestimated that if you are going to come after them, then you actually have to give it your all because, you know, as we were talking, about Shooter being their main weapon against every other team out there. You know, Darky, a player that they just got like a week ago, is able to get, what, 19 kills and 5 deaths? More kills than probably, you know, the top 3 of Salt Esports. Four first bloods, more first bloods than in fact Shooter has. So that's, that's very alarming how Team Exploit are able to utilize all of these things and defeat Salt Esports in this fashion. Yeah, and speaking of defeat, now you have it, ladies and gentlemen, Exploit, they are your champions for Calyx. They have completely shut down anybody that came their way, and I think they are very deservedly champions here, aren't they, Tultus? 
Yeah, and I mean, team exploit time and time again, you know, you pointed it out. They're very comfortable getting those 2-0 positions. And I mean, they came very close to a defeat with the first map over there. But Team Salt, I mean, they, they really crumbled. Perhaps they gave everything they had to the first map. And when they lost that, when they saw, you know, when they saw themselves being defeated with victory being so close, perhaps their confidence, you know, it fell super low and they just were not able to capitalize on it. But Team X you know we talked about this this is how you stay the best when you have a close game you seek to improve upon it you know i don't think team exploit should they even have lost the first map would have been affected by it going into the second one i think you know we would have seen a similar score come out in the second map irrespective of whether salt won the first one or not yeah, but I did really want to see that map number three, Taltris. I did want to see how it would come down in the decider, but unfortunately, Salt is not going to afford us the luxury of getting to map number three. When all is said and done, Exploit, they have sped past. I think the only map they dropped in this tournament was against Solaris. That when they true. played, And that, that's also when they played four versus five. And then in, in just the same fashion as they did against Salt, they ended up 13 and owing Solaris in the second map. Just make it look very easy. Uh, so yeah, I think decidedly exploit, they've done what they came here for. They wanted to cement their spot as the number one top dogs. They've done it. They've won Calyx. They are the grand champions. And do you have anything else to say about it here? I mean, I would like to congratulate Team Exploit, but you know, with Salt being defeated the way they were, I really want, you know, these guys to stick together because they are the second best team. They have proven in this final that they are so close at defeating Team Exploit. And I really hope they keep going at it. Yeah, I think I think the head-to-head -head is basically meaningless here. You can see that it's a, a complete bloodbath. Not a single thing that you saw come out from Hats. KD 0.3, and you know what? I can't I can't really beat down on him too much, right? Because all across the board, Salt looked uh, looked very weak. And Team Exploit, on the other hand, it was. I I feel like there's nothing I could say that would illustrate how dominant they were better than they've already shown us on the server. Yeah, definitely. And I mean, this doesn't look like a head-to-head -head of, you know, two players that were the top fraggers on their team. It more seems like you took the top fragger from one team and the bottom fragger from the other team. But, you know, we know what that head-to-head -head would have looked like should that actually have happened. But, you know, Darky with those four, four first bloods, KDA of 3.8, 355 average combat score and 19 kills. It seems, you know, just from this head-to-head, -head, if I were to make anything out, it seems it would seem like Darky did carry his team but we both know that that's not true we both know the team exploit doesn't play like that even in the times where shooter you know does get those opening kills does get those opening frags it's only because his team you know makes that possible for him so definitely team exploit just a group of five players who are all well designed around each other who are able to perform in unison and secure those teams and proving once again that they are the number one team in pakistan yes that being said, Tultris, now we've got the brackets. We do get a chance to quickly reflect on the journeys of either of these teams as they got into it. I mean, for Exploit, qualify from Karachi's qualifiers. They beat out Solaris. They beat out Team Arrow. And they consistently put up a solid performance until they ended up taking away the victory from Salt as well. Very dominant fashion. But you know what? Still a huge congratulations to Salt Esports as well. Because at the end of the day, they had a solid run. They beat, uh, beat out Fear Legends, they beat out Clarity, which was honestly... Uh, I, I would like to say that they were also one of the teams that was reasonably within contention to potentially be that second best team of Pakistan, uh, if they had gotten to that point. But they ended up choking there at the end, weren't able to close out map number three. And then we did see Salt Esports in the finals. So a hearty congratulations to all of the teams that actually made it this far. Because you know what? Valorant is a tough game. There's no way I could have made it this far with how complicated this game is for me. You know, I'm a bit, I'm a bit slower in this regard, but yeah, really, really solid performances all throughout. But yeah, Exploit, they've done a stellar job. They sit atop their mountain, just defending their summit in a fashion like no other. But you know what? Before we head to that closer, Cultures, and before I hand you the mic once again, or at least the proverbial mic, we do have the chance to look at the clip, the community clip that ended up winning out in among all of the submissions that you saw around the map number one and mark. Okay, yeah, this makes a lot of sense, doesn't it, Salha? 
Uh, yeah, it does. I mean, I, it's just my personal favorite. I mean, I don't want to call it out before they showed this clip, but you know, him getting the jet over there was absolutely insane. And then we're gonna see the rocket kill get the souls over here, get him <laughs> kill with the operator again, and then just finding the sky, finish it off with an ace. I mean, very well deserved. Absolutely. I mean, uh, the congratulations to him for getting it done because that's probably a clip I'm never going to be hitting in my life. So, uh, that being said, Tultrus, do you have any final thoughts on these teams before we wave goodbye to the viewers? <laughs> Yeah, and I mean, we've, we've congratulated, you know, we've congratulated Team Export, we've congratulated Team Salt as well for making it to the finals. But I would really, you know, like to point out the fact that in, in, in this tournament, you know, in the Intercity Cup, which is presented by Calyx, you know, Calyx has brought about a platform that has enabled so many newer teams to come up, you know, Team Perfectionist, Dem Devils, Clarity Esports. Well, Clarity is not exactly a new team, but they show the performers like, no, like, like we haven't seen them before coming into this tournament and much like Solaris as well and Aqua where you know just newer teams coming up taking games off of you know the top dogs taking uh, games off of Team Arrow taking a game off of Salt Esports you know taking a game off of Exploit you know it was a 4v5 but you know if, if it's if it's a four if it's four of team exploit you know and five of a newer team you know how that's gonna go i mean basically in this best of three uh, you know team exploit the first two players had more kills than the next five of assault esports you know so definitely solaris taking that one was a huge win for them as well so i would certainly hope that this momentum keeps going in with some of the newer teams you know they keep on registering perhaps for the next tournament that calyx hosts you know more teams come together and perhaps then for us we will see Team Exploit finally being dethroned from their position. Potentially, I mean, lots of new teams, lots of new storylines, but you know what? I think that is going to be it for us because we are going to bid you farewell. I think we've already seen quite a bit of action. Once again, a, bit, a shout out to RZ for letting me step into his big boy shoes for today. I mean, it was the grand finals after all, and I hope I've done justice to his presence. But yeah. All that being said and done, Exploit, they are your champions, and it is I, Wild Deity, and Tultarus who are going to be bidding you farewell. So until next time.
best in Pakistan? Come, let's see. Odin and he's going to spam his Odin in onto the haven and there's a difference.